Hello. Blog 6, days 9 through 13. December 5th, 2010. Um, blog 5 was December 1st. Pretty sure that was a Wednesday. So, here I am back in Seoul in Itaewon, back at the hostel that I was staying at last week. Um, I left on <clears throat> Friday, and I'll get back to that after. So, Wednesday, I can't remember what I did. <laughs> But Thursday, I went around exploring the city. I went to Namde Moon Market in Myeongdong and did a bit of shopping and took a few pictures, a little bit of video. And then I went <clears throat> to Dongle Moon just to go back to the um, Dusan Tower to check it out. And then I came back, retired early. And um, yeah, so Friday. Um, Actually, last Thursday, my friend Gordon, the Korean adoptee that I know here, had emailed me and said, hey, we should go on this trip. So Friday, I went on a um, little getaway uh, with this group um, called Incas, that's International Korean Adoptees Services, based in Korea. So they help out Korean adoptees from all over, when, and they, um, I guess the big thing that they do is provide scholarships for Korean adoptees to come here and learn English for all paid for and um, go to university. So there's a lot of adoptees doing that and twice a year they hold these big trips that are over a weekend for all these Korean adoptees and because I happen to be here I was eligible to go. And um, we went down to Jeonju, it's a city um, south of here by about three hours on bus. And um, it's actually where my sister Riley used to live in Korea when she was here in 2004-2005. So it was nice to be back there. Um, the whole trip was paid for. Um, and we do traditional Korean activities. And we get these wonderful meals, Korean traditional meals. And the main thing that we did was stay at this really nice um, ski resort. And yesterday we all got to go skiing and snowboarding. So... Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was really interesting meeting other Korean adoptees who um, have all moved here to live and learn Korean, and they can pretty much all speak Korean, so um, I felt really out of place. I've actually never felt so white <laughs> in my life because being around other adoptees that are very in touch with their Korean side, so interesting to see, and um, who knows, maybe one day I'll come back and do that. So... Um, that was my good weekend. Uh, I've caught a cold somehow, obviously. It's winter time, lots of germs flying around, and so I haven't been feeling well. Today is Monday, I pretty much slept most of the day, and then I just got back from going out to dinner with my friend Laura, who I met, um, I think I mentioned it earlier, I met her on my way in to Seoul. She's the one who helped me find my way downtown Seoul. <laughs> and she's an American girl um, that's teaching English over here. So she's really cool and now we've become friends. So we had a nice Thai food dinner and talked for a while. And now I'm back <clears throat> my cozy little corner in the uh, hostel that I much adore. So um, Duka, the owner, has made me some ginseng tea. Interesting taste. Um, <laughs> but no, it's, uh, helping my throat a lot and, um, supposed to help me and apparently, uh, ginseng is the magical ingredient here, so it's very nice of him and, uh, I've had a lot of fun. He's a really cool friend and, uh, it's really nice staying at the ho this hostel. It's very comfortable and, uh, I feel so much better than when I first got here, so things are going well. Um, Bali on Wednesday, I leave Seoul around 11 p.m. So I'll keep you up to date on what I do. I'll post probably Wednesday before I leave. And i um, still trying to find a place to stay in Bali. So a little bit of stress there, but uh, I'm sure I won't go homeless. So anyway, um, all is well in Seoul. If you want anything, you better message me now. <laughs> Not too big, though, because I still got a backpack in the rest of Southeast Asia. So uh, love you all. Miss you. Talk soon.